All right, guys, we are live. Koru Tribe, or however you say your name. Welcome to Tribal Council once again. Uh, first off, big, big happy birthday to Devin, immunity winner tonight. Devin, how does it feel to know you're not going home on your birthday? I mean, it feels pretty good. Um, I don't know. I was predicting for a few rounds now, as soon as I knew that we were going to have a tribal land on my birthday, that I had a strange feeling that I might uh, join a long list of people that I know from other orgs that have been voted off on their birthdays. So I'm glad uh, I'm not falling into that uh, line of fire. So it feels you good. Say you're not giving up your necklace then? Um, I haven't thought about it, but probably not. <laughs> All right, Jabbar, what's your favorite color? Tan. I like a nice tan. Jabbar's told me not to ask him a thousand questions, so we're about to do rapid fire questions with Jabbar. Uh, Jabbar, I'll ask you a real question now. So last time uh, there was some, uh, a little bit of an issue. Uh, Kyle gave you tokens pretty openly. Yes. Um, did that have any repercussions when you got back? Any repercussions? I mean, if it did, nobody brought it to my face. So because they didn't, then I'm going to assume no. Okay. Um, so, Ali, in a game where tokens are rampant and there's still powers to be purchased, so easy to be bought, how powerful are tokens at this stage? How concerning are they when you're talking about who you're voting for? Um, it's always concerning because you never know. Um, a lot of people here still haven't done their SOEs. Um, but we also don't know when those, uh, those, the auctions are going to end. So people might be trying to buy stuff left and right. Um, so like we can just do the best that we can to figure out who we're going to vote for. Um, and just what happens happens, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of uh, items that you can purchase, all right, Andy. So this round we saw a guard escort be offered, which lets someone leave tribal council right before votes are read with someone else. So, how do you plan around this? How do you like plan all the? Okay, if this happens, we vote here. If this happens, we vote there. Um, there's honestly so many different variables, like who has it, who they'd play it on, uh, if. If someone does that, will another advantage get played? Um, you just end up going so far down the rabbit hole that like you almost can't even consider it at all. Uh, because there's so many different possibilities of things that could happen. Yeah. So Ty, um, this is maybe your 10th travel in a row without being safe, besides last time. Uh, you're finally back in the, in the fire tonight. Do you think you could be in danger tonight? Yeah, I think I can. Um, I was hearing a lot of stuff earlier in the day. And then like later, wasn't hearing much. So I'm quite nervous coming into this. Probably, honestly, one of the first tribals I feel like I really could be a person that a lot of people could get behind to vote out. Nick, um, Nick, anything fun outside your car? Uh, just poker players saying goodbye for the night. <laughs> <laughs> they found me hiding. They found you hiding. So what what comes into your vote tonight? What do you base your vote on? Um, trust. Okay. The people that I trust. I'm going to go with what they've told me and what I've told them. Yeah. Um, Tracy, that challenge was a little rough on you particularly. Um, this is, you know, person vote out tonight gets 10th place. That's what you got in your first season of Cutthroat. So how do you get farther? How do you get past this vote? Uh, like Nick just said, hopefully by trusting the right people. All right. Trust is a pretty big uh, trend tonight. So, Mike, do you trust that you're going to be in the majority tonight? Can you repeat that question? I didn't hear all of it. Do you trust that you're going to be in the majority tonight? I think I do. I'm very nervous. 
But again, that's all you can do is trust the people that you trust. Yeah. Derek, everyone seems extra quiet tonight. Um, do you think there's any reason for that in particular? I think everybody's just nervous. I think that realistically anything could be played, anything could happen. I, I think that we know exactly like how intense this can get. And I think people want to avoid that, but at the same time, things can happen. Naomi, would you rather hear a lot of things going on or is it better when things are kind of quiet? Um, it kind of goes either way. Um... I feel like if there's a lot of things going on, there's a lot of time to panic at the last minute. Um, and I feel like if there's not a lot going on, there's a lot of time for me to panic at the last minute. So it just kind of depends on who you pre prefer to be panicking. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess I kind of just fill in the blanks if it's been quiet. All right, raise your hand if you've heard your name go around today. Wow, that's... That's five hands. Um, Nick, you did not hear your name go around. Does that make you feel better when you don't hear your name or is that always registering in the back of your head? Hey, I might be getting blindsided. You're muted. I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that, Merle. I think that I trust the people that have told me who they're going to vote tonight. So I feel safe, but you can, any time you go to tribal council, there's always a chance for a blind side, whether you trust people or you don't like, it's a game of survivor. Only one of us can win and everybody here is bringing it. So. Okay. Raise your hand. If you think, Hey, I trust the people enough. I don't think I'm going to get a majority of the votes tonight. A majority, Michael, Jabbar, Nick, Andy, same people that felt like they haven't heard their names. Devin, uh, raise your hand. Devin's a mute. I didn't, I didn't understand the question. I thought the question was like, you don't think that you're going to be a majority. I didn't side. understand it either, honestly. You don't think, think you're going to vote outside. You don't, you don't think, think a majority of the votes are landing on you. Not that, you know, power could get played and fuck all that up. But... My bad. Right. I was going to, I was going to say, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I can keep asking you questions, but you guys seem like you're almost ready just to get to the zone, right? Anyone, anyone want another question? All right, you guys aren't giving me much, so I, I'm just gonna let you get to it. Um, before we get there, y'all are boring, y'all are boring me. All right, let's just get to it. But, but first, if anyone open forum time, anyone wanted to talk, say anything, say the rest piece, or play an advantage, uh, now would be the time to do so. All right, then, uh, one by one, CMAC will pull you into the voting booth. Uh, you can vote for the SOE. Um, or you could bid for the SOE. And yeah, he's going to send you a breakout link. Click that link, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right. Hello, back, everyone. Before I get to these votes, we must go over, as usual, the stay of execution. This round, the state of execution was purchased and it was purchased by Michael. Any votes cast against Michael will not count. Now, if anyone has any other advantages or idols they wanna play, now will be the time to do so. All right, seeing and hearing no idols, we will move on. Once the votes are read, decision is final. Person vote out must leave the tribal council immediately. How read the votes? First vote. First vote. Andy. Next vote. Andy. Two votes, Andy. Next vote. Andy. That's three votes, Andy. Next vote, Andy, four votes, Andy, six votes left. Next vote, Allie, 
Next vote. Allie. That's four Andy, two Allie. Next vote. Allie. Eighth vote. Allie. We are tied. Four votes Andy. Four votes Allie. Two votes left. Next vote. Tie. Four votes Allie. Four votes Andy. One vote tie. One vote left. Next vote. And the next person voted out of cutthroat. Andy. Andy, that is enough. Andy, the tribe has spoken. Do you have any last words? Well played. Good luck, everyone. And may the best person win. All right. Thank you, Andy, for playing. It's been a pleasure having you, especially having seen you play in the past. Thank you for playing Cutthroat after, uh, after all these years of being asked. Um, everyone else, I could tell by some faces that was not expected. I see some relief faces too. Um, at this point, hey, Cutthroat's unexpected. You never know what's gonna happen next. Grab your torches, stay here, Michael, and head back to camp. <laughs> all right. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit shocked myself. I thought that was going to be me. So honestly, props to whoever did it. Let me try on my light. I'm not going home, y'all. I'm not going to cry. 